How do you get red chickens from white parents? Here, Adam Hart Davis explains how inheritance works, as discovered in 1900 by William Bateson. And he bred a red chicken with a white chicken. And he got not pink chickens, not red and white spotted chickens. What he got was four white chickens. The red seemed to have disappeared. It was very bizarre. But then, just like Mendel, he bred a brother and sister from this generation. And what happened then, again, no pink, no spotted. He got three white and one red. The reds come back. And it didn't matter how many thousands of chickens he bred. It was always the same. In the second generation, he got the ratio of three white to one red. And Bateson suddenly understood that ratio and why some characters disappear and reappear. Bateson said, you shouldn't think of a chicken as being just one thing. You should think of it as being a pair of things. So this purebred white chicken here is actually a pair of bits of stuff which it's inherited, one from its mum and one from its dad. And similarly, the red chicken is a pair of bits of stuff inherited, one from its mum and one from its dad. And when these two mate together, they will pass on those things to their kids, so that this mum will pass on a bit of white and dad will pass on a bit of red. And when they have another chick, the same will happen again. And as many chicks as they have, they will pass on these bits of stuff. And now we've got a combination of red and white for each of the chicks. But there is one other critical thing, and that is that white is dominant. Whenever there's a competition, white always wins. And that means that this chick will be white because it's got white stuff in it. And so will this, and so will this, and so will this. They're all going to be white because white is dominant. However, when two of those breed, then we'll get some curious combinations. For example, you can get a white and a white. Or you can get a white and a red. Or you can get a red and a white. Or you can get two reds, each of them equally likely. What about the colours of the chicks? Well, this one has got to be white, because there's only white there. In this case, white is dominant, so again we've got a white chick. In this case, white is dominant again, we've got another white chick, but here there is no white left, and we have to have a red chick. So here, in the second generation, we're forced to have three white to one red. Bateson needed names for all these things, and indeed for the science itself. As he wrote in 1905, such a word is badly wanted, and if it were desirable to coin one, genetics might do. The term stuck, and later the inherited units were called genes. How was it for you? Please comment on and rate this movie. Think you can do better? Then try to explain it yourself.